Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Zooty Pickup. Today's video, we'll be talking about the Nike SB Orange Label Blazer Mids. Uh, so these shoes came out March 1st of 2019 for a retail price of $85. And they came out as part of the Orange Label Collection. As you can see, the Orange Label Collection is denoted with the Orange Label uh, logo on the box. And essentially what that is, it's, uh, kind of like a collection of Nike's most core skateboarding shoes, uh, just re-released in this uh, black and white and gum colorway and only available to core skate shops. So that's the big point here. The, the orange label series is like a, uh, a line that Nike is revitalizing um, to be only available at skate shops. And this is, I think, pretty significant because I think it's like a throwback to Nike's original kind of stance when it came to Nike SB. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but when Nike first got into skateboarding, like back in like 2002, 2003, that's like around the time I first started skateboarding, um, the reception from the core skate community was, was pretty negative. Like no one liked the fact that a big company like Nike was getting into skateboarding. Uh, it was like a, a landscape dominated by core skate brands back in the day. You know, for shoes, you had like Circa, um, Fallen had just come out like, like 03 or something like that. DC, you know, America, Etnies, S, like those companies were like dominating. And um, Nike comes along and Nike's like, well, how can we get into this entrenched uh, skate market? So what they did was they partnered with the local skate shop because they knew that was the way to the hearts and minds of the core skater. So what they did was they launched a bunch of shoes that were exclusive to, to local skate shops. You couldn't get them anywhere else. And they were rare and they were hype. And they came out with like a bunch of uh, Nike SB Dunks, which, you know, kind of like got super popular in the mid to late 2000s, thus bringing in huge crowds to local skate shops, which in turn helped the, the skate shops financially a lot. And that, I guess, encouraged the local skate shops to kind of open up to Nike and thus the the local skaters opened up to nike as well and these days you know when you go to a skate park you, you you won't even bat an eye when you see like a nike shoe you probably actually see more nike shoes than anything else which is a huge difference from like back in the day like in the mid 2000s where you rarely saw any nike um so anyway all that aside the whole like orange label campaign i think is to kind of like revitalize like the the exclusive shoe program for local skate shops because i think nike sb has kind of fallen um to the direction of like a more of a, a mall core type brand like but you know maybe they're trying to revitalize their image so anyway all that marketing stuff aside uh, let's let's actually talk about the shoe itself uh what makes it special and how it skates so first of all, let's talk about the upper. Uh, the upper is made out of a pretty unique material. This is black nubuck. The leather I usually skate is, is suede. So nubuck is, is a new material to me. It's very smooth to the touch um, and it has like a very premium look and feel to it. Uh, it is kind of rigid right out of the box, however. I, I will say nubuck is a pretty hard material. It's less softer than suede. So it, it, it is a little rigid and it takes some time to break in. You can even hear how hard it is. Uh, there's some additional detailing here, uh, some premium detailing here. The swoosh, as you can see, is done in a white tumbled leather, very soft and supple. Um, they've pretty much upgraded like every element of the shoe. You can see on the back here, normally this uh, back patch is done in fabric, but as you can see here on this shoe, it's done in the new buck as well. And then you got the Nike embroidery right here on the heel as well. So moving to the front of the shoe, you can see the tongue is made out of a nylon. It is very lightly padded. It's not like a super thick padded shoe. Uh, there is very minimal padding. The tongue is elasticized. There are elastic gussets on either side of the tongue. I can't really show you, but you know, you'll have to take my word for it. So it's almost kind of like a booty. The tongue provides additional lockdown due to the elastics and it won't like move around to the side. So if you're worried about that, it will not happen on this shoe. Uh, moving to the top of the tongue, you have the Nike SB tag, and it's kind of done diagonally in line with the whole orange label Nike SB branding. And as you can see on the inside of it, um, you can see it is all done in orange, and it does say support your local here on the top. Moving to the top of the tongue, you can see that you have the trademark 
blazer exposed foam right here. Um, moving to the laces, uh, the shoe only comes with one set of laces, the, the pair that I have on here, the black laces with the orange tips. The orange tips do have the Nike SB orange label, orange label branding on them as well. And the orange does provide a, a nice little pop of color when you have the laces done up and tied because that's the only kind of like orange that you actually get to see on the shoe when you're wearing it. Uh, moving to the inside of the shoe, there are more premium touches. The whole uh, back side of the inside of the shoe is done up in this micro suede material that is incredibly soft and supple and really grips your heel. And because this micro suede has so much friction, uh, it will prevent your heel from slipping out during skating. Uh, the front of the shoe, however, is done in um, just kind of like a normal mesh material to help your foot ventilate. Um, so that's pretty much it with the upper uh, moving down to the midsole we can see that it is just a gum sole midsole you kind of have that like fake crepe pattern going on all throughout the midsole here and on the bottom you have the classic nike sb outsole that we've seen since like the janoskis all the nike uh, sb vulcanized shoes kind of seem to follow this exact same pattern so yeah, I mean, it's a pretty simple shoe. There's really not too much to talk about. It's essentially a normal Nike SB blazer uh, with upgraded leather, upgraded materials, etc., and some additional um, Nike orange label branding. Uh, speaking of which, I guess one more thing we gotta talk about is the removable insole. The removable insole does come with the uh, orange label branding, as you can see here, and um, on the flip side, you have a little zoom air unit right here on the heel. So now that we got all the features out of the way, let's talk about the actual skateability of the shoe. Um, so before I start talking about that, I guess full disclosure, um, I'm not a great skateboarder. I definitely do not skate as much anymore um, in my 30s now. So most of my skating is pretty much like while I walk my dogs, uh, just, you know, alling, 180s, like seeing if I still got my flip tricks, stuff like that. So very light skating. I definitely am not throwing anything down sets or whatnot. So uh, take what I have to say with a grain of salt. However, I do think that I've skated long enough and skated enough shoes to kind of give you guys a, a decent enough critical kind of like performance overview of the shoe when it comes to skateboarding. So uh, first thing I wanna touch on is this new buck material. It's slippery. The new buck has a very slippery, smooth texture. And compared to something like suede, where it's kind of like more, I guess, nappy, uh, the new buck doesn't catch the grip tape as well. So there's not as much flick because the shoe is so slippery. So when you're flicking your tricks, like your, your kick flips or heel flips, you gotta give, you have to kind of give it like a little extra oomph. And on top of that, the shoe is kind of rigid because of the fact that the new buck material is rigid and so that makes the shoe a little harder to break in uh what i had to do was i just like wore the shoe around as like a normal everyday shoe for about two or three days before it's before i started skating it uh, because when i first put it on i knew this would be kind of tough to skate in but after i walked around in it for about two three days it was good to go um, in terms of the board feel, this is a vulcanized shoe, so you do get pretty good board feel. And as you can see, you, insole is very thin here on the toe area. And um, there's really not much going on here in terms of uh, cushioning right here. So you do feel everything uh, kind of going on in your toe. The, uh, the new buck material up top is a little thicker than I would want, but it is a very narrow toe box shape that gives you a little more control over the board, especially when you're uh, popping tricks with it. So I do like that. In terms of durability, obviously I can't tell you too much because I've only skated it very briefly. I've only skated probably maybe like 30 minutes total. Um, I would say that it is kind of worrisome. As you can see here um, on this flick zone, already getting a little bit of wear from the brief amount of skating that I did. Uh, so while I've never really skated new buck shoes for a long time before, I don't know, this doesn't look too promising, but I do believe that there are multiple layers down here 
um, under this layer to kind of prevent a, a blowout immediately. So yeah, we'll see about that. The thing I like the most about this shoe, however, is the, the lockdown and the secure feeling that it gives. This shoe is like a pretty high top shoe. I guess it's like a mid top shoe because it's a blazer mid, but you know, if you lace up all your laces really tight, the elasticized tongue in conjunction with all the laces and the solid structure of the shoe really like give your foot a super secure lockdown feel. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, that kind of like really increases my confidence on my board. Um, and that definitely helps me when I'm skating. So uh, really solid feeling skate shoe, uh, great board feel. I guess the only downside is this, uh, this new buck material is not the most flicky material. So yeah, I think that pretty much covers everything I have to say about the shoe. Um, I think this is a pretty interesting uh, revitalization program for Nike SB, and, and I'll be interested to see what they come up with. Uh, so I'm gonna throw these on feet so you guys can see what they look like. And once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.